just say it like you're sitting there with Mr. Potato Head. Hi, Lisa. Seb's found the potato peeler. Seb's in a lot of pain today. We're from Mars. Salve, come yes. He's just waiting for a few people. He's got Seb, right. Seb is in a little bit of pain today, so he said he's not going to be humorous today. This is why. Yes, I've injured my humorous. You've injured. You've injured your humorous. His arm, he's got some sort of sprained nerve damage, we think, in his arm. Yeah. Fuzz has been hitting me. He's just in lots and lots and lots. He thinks I'm going to give him a massage, for God's sake. Really? Really? Right, while we're waiting, he's in all my humours. Nah, he isn't actually. No, no, while we're waiting, no. don't forget to put your ovens on if you're making a cake, okay? Really important. Put your oven on. If you're making cake, please put your ovens on to get it warm. Uh, what gas mark? Um, 180, which is gas mark four to five between that. Happy Sunday, Susanna. What, is, what does she say? Mr. Potato Pot. <laughs> Where did we find this? In the range or something? In Bradford somewhere? It was, it was something like that. Some random place. It was in yeah, the range. Hi, Kim. Kim, I hope you're doing the veg curry today. Lisa and I saw the potato veg. That's a good one. He actually said get some scented oils in. I was like, why? Really? We're going to use chicken oil. Oh, yes, hang on. Chicken's in the pan as well. You might as well introduce him to chicken. He sat in the pan waiting, apparently. Everyone get your blue chicken in. Well, what you right, we're going to start what cooking. Are you doing today? Okay. Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday, as Susanna said. Right, today we've got three things to cook. So we're going to do the veg curry, which is... Mr. Chowdhury's absolute favourite curry and he's shocked as to why I haven't cooked it yet. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do my favourite, chicken chavel, chicken rice. Um, but I've done chickpea and peas or peas rice at the beginning. So this is a slightly different take on it. Okay. So there's loads of different vari variations for rice. So you can do a pea or chickpea rice if you want to. It doesn't have to be chicken. Uh, Amira says she's waiting for your announcement. Oh, that's later on when we when we're bored at the end. Wait, wait. Oh, I said I'm going to do a little mini announcement. I said but those who are not cooking long have to have to concentrate. So you have to wait till the cake's in the oven, basically, at least. Okay. And I'm not pregnant. Me, Amira wrote up, "Are you pregnant?" It's like no chance. Are you pregnant? No, it's not happening. <laughs> I've got two kids. It's enough. <laughs> right. Okay. So we'll start with putting the gas on. So the cook, don't forget, put your oven on. Make sure if you're going to cook the coconut cake, put your oven on, okay? Right, now I'm going to, I've got the two pans. I'm not putting that chicken in the pan. Say bye to Mr. Chicken. He's going, he's getting lashed again. Oh, he's gone. So we're putting, so this is the mixed veg pan, the front here. So like I said to you guys, about three medium onions chopped. I've got like one chili, this is my last of my chilies. So I'm going to throw it in. So there's one big chilli. Shy, a couple of the chilies. Okay. Hi, Rita. Hi, Shy. So there's three onions. I've got the last of my chilli. I'm just going to chuck that in just because I've got the last chilli in there. Okay. Shy says your top fan. Shy says my top fan this week. We've got various different top fans each week. So I'm going to pour my oil in. And I'm not going to pour too much oil in it yet because I need it for my rice and that's the last oil I've got. So and I'm the, going to put some... And the back rub. <laughs> And we need it for the back rub, as Lisa said. So he's remembered. Oh my god, you actually remember that? What? 
the back crumb oils for the back crumb. So I'm going to put some ghee in, which will make it nice anyway. But just use oil if you want to. It's not a problem with butter. How many onions? I've got three medium onions in here. Okay, so I'm just going to use a lot of ghee. Just because I'm running short of oil, I didn't realise. Okay. But if you've got oil, just use the oil. Oh, I can use it after for the rice. I just want to make sure there's enough for the rice. Can you use vegetable oil? Yeah, vegetable oil, sunflower oil. Yasmin, olive oil. Yasmin says, are you cooking today? I am cooking today. Are you cooking today? You're not cooking I'm today. I'm not. No, I'm not. I think it's a showster, she means. Who's cooking? She's making a showster. Right, so the bay leaves are going in. You know me. Me and my bay leaves. Put three to four bay leaves in. The cloves are going in. And this is for the vegetable curry. Okay. Cloves are going in. I've got about five, six. We'll put six in there. And we've got some cinnamon stick. Okay, right. So that's the start of my curry. It's just got, oh, some ginger. Where's my ginger? I always forget the ginger. Garlic, we always leave a little bit later on because, why? Because garlic burns. Okay? Remind me to put garlic in before the tomatoes. Okay. So on a medium gas, we're going to start sauteing the onions. Or the spices. Now you should all, whoever's been following it, should know the basic curry sauce that by now. You should all know it. Okay. Um, who is having problems with the direct? Mine keeps going to buffery. Be, uh, there'll be the connections. Is it connection? Yeah, just problem? delay. It's a, it's a short delay. Okay. But it will, it will catch up. Yeah, sometimes the questions we get five, like two minutes later. I've noticed as well. Like you'll pick them up two minutes later. So my first lot of ginger's in there. Oh, okay. so some people are a bit behind. They've just seen a potato head. What's your favourite potato peeler? Okay. Oh, there must be like about a two, three minute delay then. Because that was about, you put the onions in. So you'll get questions a little bit later actually. Right, so... That's the base of the veg curry starters. Now, in the back gas, we're going to start the chicken rice as well because it'll take the same amount of time. So for that, or I said you could do peas or chickpea. Again. Terry Davis has signed on and Alexander Cross. Hi, Alex. Okay, so this is, again, another three onions, medium sliced. I just put them inside there, sliced and cut in half. And I'm going to use the oil to check. Let's see. I mean we've got enough oil to fry it through. Yeah. So we're frying onions. Okay. So that's the last of the oil in there. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so with rice, now you always distinct right rice has a very distinct you'll know when you're making pilau rice because it's like the burning of the onions, you're cooking the onions. Okay, and everybody knows when pilau rice is getting made, sort of thing, because it was a very distinct smell. So it's slightly different to curry, all of the same sort of Things are going in, it's still very different as well. And you'll see what I mean. So my bay leaves are going in. So it's actually the same principle. Three to four bay leaves are going in. Okay. So I'm going to put a bit more cinnamon. So a couple of bigger cinnamons are going in. So I've got three sticks of cinnamon going in. So you can see. And a bit more on the cloves. Because it's like a whole garam masala. You're actually giving it... A lot more. Seven I, put, I put a little bit extra in. And I'm actually going to put cardamom pods into the rice. So I've got my cardamom out. I didn't put this on the list, but I just decided. If you've got some, you don't, don't worry if you haven't got any, okay? But I'm going to chuck, what, five or six in? But I'm going to just crush it open. The rule with cardamom, if you put that in there, it's not going to release all its flavour. So use a pestle and mortar or something and just break it open. Right, I am doing three big mugs of rice, don't think, you know, like the Mabif big mugs, which is about 300 odd grams, I think it is, because three mugs of this makes a kilo, right? So, and one, one medium chicken will be enough for that, or one kilo of chicken breast. Okay, so I'm just going to throw it in, even with the actual pods, it doesn't matter, that's fine. Somebody will end up chewing a bit of cardamom, it's not going to kill me. Okay. Is that on 
Low heat, high heat. Now I put on high heat. You want the oil to, you want it to go. High heat. Oh, okay. Yeah, on a high heat, high, medium to high heat. Okay, the rice. We've got to get my garlic. Today, by the way, how are we all doing? I've just put my garlic thing ready, you don't need any garlic for sure. Right, for the veg curry, before I move on to the cake, I'm just going to show you what I've got. Right, oh, now I found this like old bit of pepper in the bag, although I've got some new ones, just because it's like a little bit of old. I'm just going to just, and it's still edible, it's perfectly fine. I'm going to chop it up and I'm going to put it in to the base of the veg curry just give more flavor also if you use i haven't got fresh coriander today i've got frozen if you're using fresh coriander and you've got the stalks available chop them up and put it into the onion to the onion mix okay it'll just cook down nicely okay so i've got that out ready right i'm going to show you all my veg what i've got so you can use any vegetables. You can, that's what I'm going to show you now. I've got a few in my freezer before I come away. Uh, right. Okay, right. So what have we got? So I'm using half fresh and half frozen. Okay? Because they're both just as good as each other. So I found some courgettes and I've got mushrooms. I will be finishing off with peppers. I'm going to use the last bit of the potatoes that I've got, which is fine. I've actually got sweet potatoes in. Well, Yasmin says, have you cut your onions quite big? She's never do that. She never dared do that. Um, <laughs> Why? She says, I've, I've cut it like yours today. That's fine. That's it. For the rice or the curry, what's it for? What's she cooking? Yeah. Yasmin, what are you cooking? Big, big slices. She's yeah. helping to have big slices. Okay, so, also what I've got in my freezer is, I've got some butternut squash. And it's just chopped, and I must have used half a squash, and I've got the other half here, so I'm going to put that in, and it's just cubed. Whenever I put it in really spare, I'll just cube it and put it in the freezer, and it's nice to go to a curry. Okay, so I've also got some leek. Every single I make leek and potato soup, there's always one leek left over. I've chopped that up and put it in the bag, so that's in my she, freezer. She's making rice and curry. Nice, good girl. So get your veg ready. Right, I actually could not find a decent fresh cauliflower, so I got frozen. There's no reason why not. Okay, I wanted. A, I'm not going to use a whole packet. I might use three or four florets, but frozen is as good as fresh. And obviously, we're going to use the peas sort of thing because peas is like a nice background flavour. So it brings the balance of the sweetness to it. Uh, she was always told to cut onions thin for you rice. Can, you can. You, it's whatever works for you. Absolutely, I know. Um, what's one of my sister in chops and dices them down so that niece, 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 say hi, niece. I know niece is watching, <laughs> she doesn't, I know she is. Um, she doesn't chop, chop them up a lot smaller than me, so everybody does it differently. Well, if you've got I a think big my mouth, mom, I think my mom taught us this way because I think she was always in a rush cooking for us. If you've got so a big like mouth, then cut them large, <laughs> right? You can see on the front one. Oh, that's if, a lot, do you that's know a what? lot of vegetables. Now we're not going to put all of this in, by the way. He thinks we're going to show me. We're going to put in, I'll show you what we're going to put in. The amount's put in. Right, oh, is that so, just for display? Because these are all plastic. What is? These. They're not plastic. <laughs> Daft thing. Right, don't forget, put a kettle of water on for your rice, okay? I haven't put mine on it yet, okay? Fill your kettle. Fill your kettle. And wash your rice. I've got my rice ready and washed. Make sure you wash your rice as well. Wash your rice, please. So it all kind of comes together very quickly, this lot. So I've got my rice washed and soaking away. Okay? So that's been washed and that's so that's just three mugs. I said about a kilo. So but we're gonna to go to here. Right, so just gonna stay at the back one, that's fine. Right, I'm gonna start this is starting to go a bit golden, a bit more, a little bit more. But now I'm going to crush up my garlic. I've got a bulb of garlic in there. Okay, you've got chopped garlic and put that in. Oh. You've got a bulb. I've got a bulb. Okay. 
Are you watching a little chopper? Go away. <laughs> what are you doing, you're daffy? <laughs> <laughs> Are you daffy? Seb, go away. He's like looking at me nose or something at the moment. Stop it, you're daffy. <laughs> That's lost. Oh. It's in the sink. Right, I need. So now I'm going to put the garlic in because it's starting to go brown nicely in this pan. Curries are better in by big aluminium pans because it does stick well and you can take it off the bottom as well. Okay. What about solid gold? No. Yeah. Oh, the ghee smells lovely in that. You know, it smells. I put some ghee in for my homemade ghee. Smells lovely. I really like that smell. Good. Right, so let that cook down a bit. Right. There was a bit of a, bit of a debate about the dessert today. I think we all had a bit of a debate about that. But. With coconut cake. Who likes coconut cake? Who hates coconut? It's always going to be a debate, isn't it? Oh, what would you use instead? No, I just, we were going to do the fruit cake, but it was lacking a bit of spice, so we'll leave that till another time. Right, okay. So either you can put your spices in or your tomatoes tin in, whichever way around you want to do it. So do this. Or you can use fresh tomatoes, don't forget it's a veg curry, so you can just use fresh tomatoes if you want to. So I'm going to add my spices in, just because mine's going nice and golden. If yours isn't that golden, take your time, add your spices in when it's ready. Okay? Right, right the back gas, okay, I'm going to let it just go quite dark, okay, so that'll take a bit longer and that's why you get that onion, really burnt onion smell. Okay. Uh, Yasmin's never made a coconut cake, she's going to have a go today. Good girl. Oh, you're doing all three things! I'm impressed. Well done, you. Right, is okay. you're about to put some salt in. Salt. How much? Tablespoon. And don't forget, check your seasoning at the end before you serve out, okay? How much That's salt good. did you put in? One tablespoon. That was uh, one. Did you add ginger to the rice dish? Not yet. No, it's just the onions and that. Do you know what? She's like, I'll put some ginger in a minute. No, it's fine. Just the onions are yet. I will actually, you know what? No, leave it here. Okay, so turmeric. About a tablespoon, I put about a tablespoon of turmeric because I like the turmeric. Right, we've got a couple of chilies in there, so only less chilli powder because Mr. Chai doesn't like a lot of heat. So we'll go for like about a third of a tablespoon chilli powder. Okay. Obviously add more. If you want more chilli powder and more chilies, that's fine. It's however hot you want it to be. Or less if you don't want. Curry powder, I've got hot madras curry powder. Somebody asked me about this the other day, which one is it? It's hot madras curry powder. Okay, but look, what, two thirds a spoon. Just chuck it in, you'll get used to it. Right, so we're gonna go with that. I've got some nice tomato tin, so I'm going to add that to it. In the villages, when people were cooking, they never really had so amounts, like tomatoes, amounts of ingredients. They just yeah. used to just chuck put it. the spices in. They didn't yeah. measure it. No, nothing is measured. You can't like, know where you are with it. Okay. I think it was down to volume. So just sit a little bit of water into the tomato tin, no wastage. Putting that in, okay. Right. Now, let that cook. We're going to let that cook a little. Oh, sorry, Zeb. It's just splattered it's just back at back Zeb. I'm going to put the lid on it and let that cook a little bit. I'm going to drop the heat. So it's on. this one's on high heat at the moment. So once you've got your base curry, put it onto like a medium heat and put the lid on it and let it just cook for a bit. So let that cook. Now, so I'm going to say we put the ginger in the rice, the rice. So I'm going to put some, it's just starting to go nice, okay? So I'm going to add a little bit of ginger to that one. My brother's nickname is Ginger. Ginger, okay? But it's me. Okay. 
Underneath the vegetable. Under the vegetable. Okay. So I'm going to add the ginger to the onions, but not the garlic again, don't forget. So this is a different technique of pilau. The other one we'll do, the first one we did was just, just onions, completely brown, and just relying on that. This has got a bit more flavour depth, I suppose is the word. But we, I think we were traditionally bought some and just the onion one, so I think that's always going to be our, my favourite. But um, this is also a nice version as well. You know, and be generous with your ginger and your garlic. That's what the flavour's all about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, I'm going to keep one eye on this because you want the, you want the onions to go nearly black. But not totally. Okay, so we're going to have to keep one eye on this and we're going to start getting the cake mixed on. So. Nice. Now, just check this, make sure we're happy with that. Yeah, it's okay. It's all got it's steaming. Keep one eye, so keep an eye on both pans. Always keep an eye on what you're cooking, okay? You've lowered the heat on this I one. have lowered the heat, so it'll take a bit of time. And do you know, even if you're in a rush, worst case scenario, you can chuck your vegetables in, it'll still work. You can have absolute rush. But we just like to get that cooked a bit more nicer. It just gives it a nicer flavour. Okay. Where is that bubbling? Right, so you've uh, boiled your kettle. Right, we're going to go to the cake. Keep an eye, keep one eye on your onions though, okay? We're going to go over to the cake. So, hopefully you've weighed your ingredients. I haven't actually had to write this down because I don't make this cake that often. Can we move this kitchen roll on? This is the potato. I need the potato peeler later on your deck. Okay. What you like. Right, so, four sticks of marge was the original recipe. So it's 340 grams of marge or butter. So I've got flora marge inside my blender. Ready? Okay. So I've put 340 grams inside there. Yep. And we're going to add two cups of sugar. That's two cups of just normal white sugar. That looks like a lot more than... It's two cups. Next I'll show you. Okay. So this is going to go on. Can we use stevia? Salams from Yamina. 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 I mean, I mean Yamina. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, God. Right, so the two tins ready. Okay. Right, we're going to get in the arm and the arm first. But still want it to go darker than that. Okay? Right, let's go back. Sorry. What did you say about the onion? Right, they, were going, they were going golden brown, but I want them still to be darker. So the darker your onions go, the, dark, the more flavour intensity you'll get, and the darker colour your rice is. I could actually cook from there now as well and add the chicken, add all the bits and bobs. But I want it to be a little bit darker. That's okay at the moment. That can be like half now, like that. So I'm just going to take. In my mixing bowl, you have to kind of like scrape it every now and then. So we're scraping it down, and we're adding the eggs one at a time. Okay. Uh, you did you say throw my chickpeas in the curry now? Into that the vegetable one? No, I said you can 
can use chickpeas if you want to. Can you put it in now? No, we're going to add them when you do the vegetables. When you add the vegetables. Oh, so no, no. Um... Oh, but if you're in a rush and you want to get on with it, just chuck your vegetables in and your chickpea in. Are you... Who is asking? Lisa. Oh, Lisa, are you even cooking it? Stop it. No, chickpea, I said if you want to use it instead of chicken, because some people don't want to do chicken rice. They can do chickpea or peas rice. Uh, um, uh... <laughs> Right, okay, um, is, oh god, his best mates, come on now, he's, he's not going to talk to us now. Mm. But you can do chickpea with the veg as well, if you want to. So, like the, traditionally you are supposed to do the egg separate. One. So, the eggshells and the egg one pop. Two. Three. Did you just see me do that? Jeez, bloody hell. Excuse me, well, I just recover this. Oh. I've got a big eggshell egg there. She, <laughs> she threw the whole eggshell egg shell into, in the, into there. Oh my god. Well, good reflex. Let me just check. We might have some eggshells on our cake later. Okay? That's really funny, actually. That's for extra flavour. <laughs> Oh my god, we are going to find eggshells later on. That's absolutely hilarious. So, when we desiccated coconut, it will be an eggshell curry. Okay, I think. Don't follow that part of the. Don't follow uh, that part. Definitely. Oh. So, will you stir that pan because I can smell it? Just to distract you all. They've gone very brown and they're starting to stick. That's fine, I can smell it. I suppose he's got a nose for these things. The back pan or the front pan? That's really funny actually. I think I meant this one. Right. Okay, I'm just going to put the rice pan on low gas now. Just because I want to focus on the cake. So that's just going on low gas. It could go dark, but I'm just going to put that really down. Just because I don't want to go too much darker than that. That's, that's the colour that you want. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so it's just, I'm just putting it on low gas. This was sticking for a minute. You can add a little bit more to here if you want to, but it's good. I like the stickiness in this. Umma said, what's on the menu? Umma has robbed me yesterday of all my curries yesterday. I ended up getting steak off salmon because he robs all my dinner. Not even a lie. He knows. Did you okay. enjoy your dinner last night, Umma? So this is, that was egg, this is egg so three. I'm going to do all the eggs in together. I'm going to concentrate, get all the eggs in. So oh. that's... Hopefully we won't have too many eggshells left in there. Come on. So that's all long it's crushed. No, it's fine. It's all right. It's got so that's there. five chicken okay. babies. <laughs> Almost said he's having it tonight. Oh, he's having it tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah. He had steak last night, didn't he? Right. <laughs> that we're still... We've got a couple of eggshells in there. Okay. Right, let's get back to the cooking. Is that too runny? No, that's perfect. Because you're going to add the flour now. Okay. So what I've got is the three cups of flour. So I'll well, yeah, flour. eggshells are good for outdoor plants and flowers, yeah, because they need the calcium. So three cups of self-raisin flour. Okay. Sift it in. Sift like you've never sifted before. <laughs> Right, you don't need baking powder or you're using self-raising flour these days. I don't, honestly don't think so. I think it makes it worse. Your cakes all sink down and stuff like that. It's all random stuff. Well, I've used it in pancakes. Okay. 
That's different. Right, baking soda. I don't think that's on the list of ingredients. I should check. Let me have a look. Yeah, half a teaspoon. About half a teaspoon of this. Baking soda, bicarbonate soda. Yeah, right one. Right, so I've got some vanilla and almond essence. I don't sit there and measure teaspoon, I just chuck it in. Okay, so a bit of vanilla. Okay, you can put about two teaspoons with whatever it is. I prefer almond essence, so I'm going to put more of that in. Well, I've only got that much left, so I'm going to put in whatever I've got. A couple of dots in there. So that's that done. Right, so whisk that through. Uh, not whisk, as in fold it through. Okay. I'm going to do it on the machine because I'm lazy. You can do it by hand or machine, whichever. Just on the lower setting. Okay, let's clear all this. Well, she's got a machine for folding. Add one cup of milk into it. Okay. Do chuck it in, but not the bottle. No. That's and a good one. Yeah, I tried to stop her on that one. <laughs> and also, it says about 120 grams of desiccated coconut. How many? You, how many you put in? This is 150 grams. So basically, most of the packet. Put it all in. No, I need. I've got a little bit left. Don't forget to spread on the, the buttercream afterwards. So, <laughs> I've got some anyway extra as well. Okay, so let's stick so. with the 120 then. Okay, let's put that in. Okay. And you're still folding. This is on the lowest minimum setting. You can actually see that. So if, you, if you're doing it by hand, you're still just folding. Just fold, fold by hand. Absolutely. Right, the curry's um. Everything should be just simmering away. We're going to come over now, so I think we sort of all this size out. Yeah. Right, so that's... Now we're going to add stuff to that now in a second. That's quite dark now. Yeah, I just want to get the cake in the oven and we're going to come straight to that. So the cake batter, I'm going to give it a quick mix, put them in the oven. I'm doing mine, I've got to take, actually I've got to take a shelf out on the lower shelf. Okay. Uh, at 150 degrees. Traditionally it's 180 degrees. Okay. Uh, I'm dropping the temperature on this. Why? And I'm actually going to put it at 150 degrees. Because? Because you cook it low and slow is much better. If you get a lighter cake, it doesn't rise, doesn't give you all those bumps and lumps and stuff like that. You get a flatter cake. Take your time with it, much better result. You've all done the lemon cake, so you'll know from that. A lot of you have done that. Get a little bit of eggshell. Okay, right. And that is literally going to go. I'll use a little and then pour that into too much. So you can use if you use one big tin, it's gonna take longer. Um I like this because I'm gonna put some cherry jam in the middle um and some frosting in the middle of it so it splits it out. But you can do whichever one you want to do. You want to put like just one cake tin, that's fine. As you can see, I used to have just one cake tin. I've got a newer cake tin because I was doing so many of these. Oh, so many cakes. There's a shell. I can just I can see a shadow of a shell. You can see them. Okay. There. Almost getting the pieces with the uh, shell in. Almost getting a piece of the shell in. You're going to make sure he gets a piece of the shell. No, he's just unlucky like that. He'll get it. <laughs> I like that one. Guaranteed. Okay. Never take Uma to a casino. <gasps> you will lose. I think if you told Tom Karoon that, I think he'd smack you both. That's why nobody takes him. Okay. Right. Okay, so my batter's clear out of there. So it's roughly equal portions we've gone for. I have done this, I think, in three last time. So oh, I almost less. said he doesn't want it. Right, so this is going in the oven. Okay, people, so it's 20 to 1 on my clock. So, 
Oh, that's what I was going to do. You know me. So I'm going to take the top shelf out. This is what I have to do. Put it outside. Lowest on the lower set. I've got to drop my temperature down to 150 degrees. Cake is going to go in together. Cakes in. Cakes are in. Right, let's ignore all that and let's go back to the curries and that. Okay. Okay. So with the back cast, so this is fine. I'm going to come to this in a minute. I want to just concentrate on the rice for two seconds, okay? That's cooking really cooking nicely. An eggshell cake, which is good, right? Yeah. Oh, I used to remember <laughs> shampoo where it was egg and coconut and stuff like right, that. Right, so I've got some you used to eat it. garlic. Where's my ginger from this one? What have I done with it? You used it in... No. Is there more ginger on that side? Hey. Does anyone remember where she put the ginger? <laughs> Please. Please. Messing around with the ginger. Oh, get some more ginger out of the fridge. Well, there's a piece here, but that wasn't it. How very odd. That's flummoxed me a little bit. You like that word, flummoxed? No. Oh. Right, this has gone very dark. Very, very dark. No. Let's stop stressing. That's what right. The darker it goes without absolutely burning, the better it is. You try and tell them that. So ginger and garlic's going in. Into which one? Into the rice pan now. Rice. Well, I'm gonna masala. Let me just, just let me just get that all chopped right. and ready. Okay. So I've got a bit of ginger here, so I'm gonna chuck that in as well. And the bulb of garlic as well. So it's all gonna go in together. Okay. Right. Garlic and ginger. Okay, right, that's fine. So, right, I'm gonna put the heat back up. Just brought it to the front a little bit off the heat. We're gonna add some garam masala to this and some salt. So your basic part of a curry to have a rice. So I'm gonna put a tablespoon of salt in now. Salma says you grated it into the rice dish. Did I? I just see, I remember that. Oh, it doesn't matter. We've got extra ginger in now. Put more see, in, don't worry about it. Did I do it? Did I do it? I must have added. Yeah, I remember because you were looking for the grater and it was underneath. Ah, the okay. But well, we've got extra ginger. I thought there was a little lump missing. Okay, so the packet garam masala. Remember, there's two versions of garam masala I've got. So you've got the packet versions going in. Okay, so there's no chili powder and that going in or turmeric. So it's just the garam masalas are going in and the whole garam masala. Okay, so that's going in. Tablespoons and a half. Yeah, because there's a good three more. So if you do like one or two more, because obviously it's like half a tablespoon. Um, okay. And then what we're going to do is I'll add that mix, although now we've probably got double the amount of gin ginger inside it. Well, it's good if you've got a cold. It's good. It's good. It's not going to kill anybody. Some veg uh, cook quicker than others. Yeah. Do we put them all in at the same time? I'll go through That's that a good second. question. We'll go through that in a second. No, don't worry. Potatoes will right. go in first. Potatoes and carrots, it's a harder vegetable, so we'll always put it in first. Yeah. Um, so, and then we need a tomato tin, so put that through in a second, okay, and add a tomato tin, yeah. Yeah, Lisa says you did, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh look, we're, we're going to do cooking metal. <laughs> it's today, isn't it? Some of it is Leave your can in, <laughs> throw your can in. <laughs> Okay. The body needs iron. Let that cook down now. I'm gonna let that cook a little bit, then we'll add the chicken to it, okay? Let it just cook. And even that brown onion that will just all release its flavour out. Okay? So it's on high gas now. Back to back high, back, high, back gas, to high. And I'm gonna put a lid on it. Okay? Put a lid on. Put the lid on. Right, so let that just start, let the onions do and smart um, onions and tomatoes do their work. Then we'll add, so I'm going to put this medium up now. I'm going to put like a medium gas. Yes, yeah, so somebody asked which order would you put in. Obviously you'd go for the harder vegetables first. So we're going to go with potatoes first. I've even got a carrot in here, so I'm going to chuck in. No, I don't, I, do you know why? I don't like potato peel with that, but I like it with the courgette, which is why I've got it out. I, I really don't like it with potatoes. So the uh, fudge is definitely doing something wrong. Uh, well, not, there's something wrong with her. What did she have 
for breakfast. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, I've had just one the, coffee. She's had, she, she had the normal stuff, you know, eggshell, <laughs> empty cans. <laughs> Who said that? Or at least that or Sal. <laughs> Yasmin. <gasps> Yasmin, how dare you? How very dare you? So we're peeling <laughs> some potatoes. potatoes. Why are you don't using your peeling? I don't like who's... Oh, do you know? Look. Do you, does that make you feel better? I'm does only inquiring why I don't you like, bought I, a honestly, potato peeler. Because I used it for... For this, for cochettes, and butternut squash. Best yeah, thing yeah. for butternut squash. You can't peel butternut squash with anything else. It has to be with a peeler. No, this, yeah, this yeah. does too much fatty for me, potatoes. Just get the skin off properly. And always use a sharp knife. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do that. I'll probably do a couple of more potatoes. And I'll judge it as I'm going along. I might add some more potatoes in a minute. I'm just going to start with this few. That does need to get low, doesn't it? Yeah, vegetable curry has always been a favourite because it's Good. really easy to make. Yeah, it's one of those. It just is. You should, and also you're using a lot of leftover stuff. Anything you've got left over. Just, you know, if you see a couple of courgettes in the back of your fridge, or one, and one cat, couple of carrots, add stuff to it. Add a tin of chickpeas if you want to. It doesn't matter. It's just... Ah! Oh, do you know what happened last night on Twitter? We've had a Twitter debate on sprout curry. Sprouts. <laughs> sprouts. Sprouts. Right. Those who know where I wear. Yeah, where make I wear sure she's not putting the peels in. <laughs> Those who know where, uh, where I wear. No, I wear her squash. I'm just washing the potatoes. Before anything, I've forgotten to do that. Sprouts are the devil's food. It is not the devil's food. This is the debate, right? Okay, so somebody about a month ago must have put on Twitter some random person must have said, talked about sprouts, and I went, best thing ever, sprout curry. Ah, right? ah look, use the peeler backwards and forwards. It peels both ways. Ooh, it's we'll Let's try, try the live. We'll try that in a minute. No, we'll do that in a minute. We're going to do a live peeling. Curry. So you could do a sprout curry, by the way, this way as well. No, don't. I you can. Don't. <laughs> it's fabulous. Chester says she loves it. Curry. But you know what? So somebody, some <laughs> other person was like, I went to this Christmas meal at Squash and we had the most amazing sprout curry. Da -da! Six months later, somebody remembered about me sprout curry. How brilliant is that? I was like, yes! It's the devil's so it's, food. It's not the devil's food. Stop it. It's not the devil's food. So you're... So I'm kind of like dicing it. Come on, it's like, you're not, you don't want too big and you don't want too small. Bite-sized pieces. Bite-sized pieces. So the next one I'm going to put in will be the carrots, the, the single carrots I've no, got. Peel the potato backward and forward. Who said that? I can't see who said that now actually. Only decided five minutes ago but I'm, I've caught up. Lisa's doing the vegetable curry. Right, backwards and forwards, is it working? Oh, hang on. Oh, that, I don't know. No, no, it doesn't work backwards. Oh, that's more awkward, no. It oh, doesn't work. Of he doesn't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay, Sorry. So I'm gonna just chunk. And if you've got, I've actually got a bag of carrots in the freezer, so it's just like nice chunks. You don't want too small. Okay. So Interestingly, when I went to PK, the carrots were red. Yeah, you can't get them colours. So can somebody explain to me? Right, look, that's starting why. to stick down there. I am gonna add some water in it, but I'm gonna like the stickiness. Okay. Same actually, with the back. You don't have to have orange carrots. Yeah. You can have red. There's purple. Right, cool. So we're going to do. Oh, I'm going to chop the squash. Actually, by chopping the squash in, that'll release water. So it keeps the ice in it. So I'm just going to chop the butternut squash in. I probably will put some more potatoes in a minute. I think I will do. Okay. Right, so we're going to chop the squash in. 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 Chop so down there, pay attention. Halfway through, you try to dial, put some leek in, it's lovely. She makes, you know Susanna, my friend in Gibraltar, she's cooking or she's watching, I know she is. She cooks everything, right? But she doesn't just do the curry, she'll do rice. No, pop us on. She sends me pictures of everything, it's brilliant. So just go, ah! she's, she's ace, she does everything, more than me. Right, so I think your peeler it. would work on that. Definitely. I like peeler on this, that's okay with you. You do that. I think Zeb's happy because it's his favourite curry. This is all happening for him, so yeah. he is very happy today. 
Could you use the peel on a banana? Right, right. Yeah. You can't use the peel. Uh, you know, you don't have to sit there and worry about every single bit of green that's getting coming off. It just gives it a nice bit of a crunch. Huh? So, right, you see this? I'm making them sort of give me like a bit of a little bit of a I've found to be with the blandest They're vegetable not. on They're not. They soak in. Not. No, if you just had courgette on its own. Oh, but I agree with it's that. Got nothing in there. Okay. So that's one of the courgettes. That's the other courgette. I'm going to add a little bit of water now, and because it's very nice sticky at the bottom there, so I'm going to add a little bit of water just to start loosening it. Okay. And I'm going to stir the back gas. That's starting to stick, which is nice because all it'll go all like mushy. So the darker the better, everyone. Yeah. We'll add a few more veggies and we'll go back to the rice in a second. Keep an eye on it though, it doesn't completely burn. Right, another cause Are uh, you going to use the orange pepper? I don't know, we've got orange and green, what do you want? We've got red as well. Peas. Take your pick. You always have to have peas. I need the peppers till the near the end. They don't cook very quickly. Do they cook, yeah, basically. That's it. In fact, they can be raw. Right. I think I'm just going to add cauliflower. Right next. Do you uh, add water to make it quicker? Do you add hot water to make it cook quicker? Yeah. Or to bring it to the boiling point, yeah. So then we're going to add. Then we put all the peels in there as well. Then we're not adding the peels in there, stop it. Cauliflower. As I said, if you, put, you, could have, you could have whatever you find. Now these are big chunks actually, I'm going to try to find a smaller chunk. And remember when I used this before, I'd actually soak it, so that's fine. It'll break down anyway. Let's get a smaller chunk out. It's all good. Right, so we're going to add our It's a very gassy vegetable, Colin. Most right? vegetables are. Suppose you've banned. Cossiferous is what's the wording for it. There's a word, a special word. Is it cossiferous? I don't know. What, for the vegetables? For the gassiest vegetables. Right. I'm just gonna. Okay, so that's like. The, I'm gonna add peas and stuff like that in a minute. I shall add peas now. Maybe a bit more. A bit more. So you want to aim well four or five veg. You know, not a lot of each either. Then you're gonna need to add some meat. You no know, more. If you do too much, you need more sauce. Don't forget. So this is probably the equivalent of about half a cup. A cup. Peas, just chuck it, and you don't have to put peas in. It's genuinely what you like. You keep saying this, like mushrooms very quickly next, and then we'll get off to the rice. So I'm just going to these up. If they're too big, go into quarters. Is it? You know. Again, there's just chunks. I like chunks of mushrooms. I don't want you don't want them too small. And I like chestnut mushrooms. I think they've got more texture rather than the plain white mushroom. You can choose whatever you want to put in. Okay. I usually do mix quinoa with vegetables. I know you do. With vegetable you curry. Like that. Yeah, I think it's great. Right, okay, I'm just going to put the freezer stuff away and then we're going to put the chicken, we're going to sort the chicken out next. Yes, I think the rice dish will be done now. That's been cooking for a while. Stirring it. Okay, we'll come back to peppers in a second. Okay, this is sticking. So you've got a dark, quite a dark mush really, and that's fine. Okay. So it is slightly different to the previous version I've done. So now, if you want to put chickpeas or peas in, you can. Right. I have my chicken in the freezer, so I'm just going to wash that. Out. I've got to take it out this morning. Can you put spinach in? Vegetable curry? Yeah, almost, yeah, you can, but it kind of like fades away, really. So I can, like the trick, I forgot to take my chicken out of the freezer. So what I did this morning was put it in a bowl of water. And honestly, a couple of hours later, it does defrost. It's the quickest trick to do it. You can cook this from frozen as well, because the, the, the ice will melt. Put the lid on, and it does break the chicken down. Stir it regularly. So, that's gone on. I think your hand's not burning when you're on that. Now this, this is, you know what, look, taste, Ikea pan, that one does. 
and this is an IKEA pan. I've got another one, and there's no heat on that at all. Well, your hands are made out of asbestos as well. Whereas that one, it's the proper packing pan, is like oh, oh racer slayer, racer slayer. Rosie said <laughs> a word. Shut up. Shut up. Can anyone guess what that word right, was? Right, and we're not going to add water yet. So I'm just going to let that chicken seal. You've got chicken breast. You can put it in now. Chickpeas, put it in now. Stir right, it through. So it's become a sticky sauce. Yeah, stir coat. it through. Cool. If you do chickpea and peas, stir it through and add maybe half a cup of water so and put almost, the lid on. It's almost like a Chinese dish. Like that that's seen. Right, let's go back to the front, guys. Sticky sauce around the chicken. Right, what didn't I put into this? So I didn't put in peppers. So we'll put some peppers in. Okay, so this is put it back on high gas. Right, I put my veg curry onto high gas so it's just starting to cook. To well, like everyone's, everyone's saying it's the. Uh, I'm not going to repeat it, right? <laughs> Shut up. I'll, read, I'll read the statements later, so if you do realise this. <laughs> Stop it, you are. You're always bad as him, encouraging. Right, so we're going to. Peppers, pe peppers inside. I have. Frozen coriander, so if you've got coriander, don't forget we use that at the end as well. But mine is frozen. So I'll, I did put some green at the beginning. You can use whatever colour pepper you want. Is there a different so. flavour in the orange to the green? Yeah, there is. There's a sweeter, that's different. And they're just all different ripening stages, that's all there is the colour. Well, I don't know. The that. red is the sweetest. So that must yeah. be the ripest. Yeah, I think the green is the more, yeah. There's just different. Different stages, that's all the differences. Amazing. Learned something new. So, again, I'm going to do. You just mean so hard. You learned something Seth, new. I swear to God. It's like the anger stages of Fozzy because you can tell how angry she is <laughs> by the colour of her face. You got it. I made Seth cook a stiff for our dinner. On Wednesday, Fozzy, you have to cook a stiff for our Mexican chicken, didn't you? On Wednesday, and he made these chicken pieces and they were huge. I had to get scissors. Oh, it's so funny. I had to cut the scissors up. But I said he did do it in the end. It was really nice. It was nice. It was nice. It was funny. Well, funny because I was in a mood. Yeah. <laughs> right, so. She was at Orange Alert, I think it was. It was yeah. Orange Alert, wasn't it? So, I'm going to put some Ajuain in and I'm going to put some fennel in. These I've are been, extras. I've been, I've been, I just wanted to say that I've been taking this. <laughs> Well, my stomach was yeah. really bad. It's very, very good for your stomach. And I'm going to put fennel. You know fennel is by what I said. It's very good for the farting. Very good for the wind problem. So I'm going to put a little bit of fennel. If you don't like fennel, don't, don't just don't put it in. Okay? This is just additional flavor because I like it. Okay? A drain we'll put in it as well. If you it's do very have good for your stomach. indigestion, have some of this. And this is carrot seeds or a drain. There's a special way of doing it. Half a, a tablespoon. Sorry, Zen. You've got to take a mouthful of it, dry. Grind it up in your teeth and then swig it down with some water. Mm -hmm. And then find a latrine to throw up into as quick as possible. So I'm going to put some more water in the veg. So do it with a dashing mixer. distance. You know the nice thing about the veg curry is? You can put the lid on, give it about half an hour on a medium to low simmer. And it will be nicely cooked for you. At least half an hour it will need now. Just let the vegetables cook. You can go a bit longer. Okay, let that all just cook down. Is there a curry that uses yeah. fruit? There are. I'm sure. I'm sure the rest are. Yeah. Um, no, no. Um, so put that on. I'm just gonna let it go to the boil. So it's still on high gas. I'm just gonna let it go to the boil, and then I'll put it medium to high gas. Okay. Moroccan Moroccan curries yeah. use fruit. Right, stir. You keep stirring your rice first, guess. This is sticking a bit, which is fine. But I just want to seal the chicken. Okay, right. Now I'm going to add about a cup of, cup of water into there. Okay. Pour it off. Keep it right, so Just like that, just to let that cook. And let that. Then the onions will cook with the chicken nicely before you add the rice in, okay? So let that just cook through. This is where the onions will release its flavour into the chicken. Right. You okay holding that? Mm. Seb's in pain. He's doing the whole arching his back thing. Well, I have a trapped nerve, nerve in my shoulders. Anybody tips to 
Right, I'm putting the gas on the rice one and I like a medium gas to low to let that just cook through. Has Nyla, has Sam, has Nyla managed to log on yet? My cousin, she was struggling to log in to find the page. I don't know, she said she had some problems. Yesterday she was messaging me. Right, so I'm gonna put the lid on that again. So medium gas and let that just cook through. You've got some Bengali friends on here, haven't you? Yeah, my mates. What's the red leaf that people chew? Oh. What is the red leaf that people are chewing these days? Oh, use tiger balm, I've been suggested. Uh, yeah, actually, tiger balm is pretty, pretty strong. In fact, I'm going to get, I'm going to get some today. To get the scented oil, we're going to use tiger balm. Uh -huh. Right, just cleaning up a little bit because I spend another hour usually after so I'm cleaning as well. Yes, let's focus in on some Moroccan almond. What's he doing? What are you doing? So you've got your veg curry cooking. Look at that barcode. What's he doing? What random things? Get <laughs> off! <laughs> what are you doing? So you've got the veg curry coming up to the boil now. Okay, which is fine. I collect barcodes. Right, even from here, I should be able to get a little spoon and I should be able to check the seasoning off it, okay? So you should be able to do that. This is a seasoned camera. <laughs> it's fine. It's is, it, fine. is it all right? Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. Got a nice heat to it. Okay. Right, so let that cook down. Right, okay. So people want to know what the big announcement was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what twins. We're gonna... <laughs> twins. <laughs> Ashton and twins has got work. But... Two <laughs> boys. Two more okay, boys. So now that everything's cooking away nicely, it's gonna boil another kettle of water. Ready for the rice. More rice. Uh, what's the announcement? Okay, right. So people, a big concentration. This is very important. So this is today. It's going to be the last live cook along <laughs> weekly, right? So we're not going to do it every week from now on uh, because I think a lot of you now will know the base curry sauce. A lot of people will know how to do rice and chapats and stuff like that now. I know it's all fun and I know we all have a little banter and stuff like that. And I know if Lisa's going to miss, I'm going to miss you, Lisa. I'm going to miss Susanna. I'm going to miss a few people. Uh, and Yasmin, even Yasmin, we've got people like Yasmin's from France, Susanna's from Gibraltar, Kimberly people Jones. Are, people and are upset. And even people from Liverpool, like our local Kim. People are upset already. No, but the thing is, right, there's a few reasonings why, okay? You're lazy. <laughs> yeah, it takes about five hours to do a cook along, by the way, because we spend about two and a half hours prepping, cleaning the kitchen, prepping everything, an hour and a half cooking, and about another half an hour to an hour cleaning afterwards. So it takes up most of our Sunday mornings. So we don't get a life, apparently. Uh, no. <laughs> like seven choices, by the way. Yeah. Uh, and then I think we also, the COVID, the whole sort of lockdown thing is starting to ease a little bit. People are starting to do their own thing on the weekends and um, stuff now. Let's have a vote. Let's just put it to a vote, <laughs> Posey, right? Who would still like to do this? But do not think weekly is too much? Or bi-weekly, like every two weeks, bi-monthly, every two weeks to do a, a recipe so, that somebody because wants. Also, there are some people saying that we're cooking too many things and too much going on, but the cook along is, keeps me busy, as in like, I can't, like I'm standing here now doing nothing now for the next 20 minutes because everything's in the pans, cakes are in the oven, and now we've got free time. We're literally just gonna talk no, to you now. we can look at spoons. Get off. Right, so the point is, uh, it keeps us busy going along, and if you, a lot of people have kept up with the pace and a lot of people have shown me that they can do it and just, I, I get weekly people sending me the pictures of what they've cooked and even if it's not on the day, they do it a couple of days later. For those people that can't keep up and say that the videos are too long on YouTube, honestly, go and look and find another video. I don't mind, so I think there will always be a different oh. curry. But, 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 me and Zeb, in this time, I'm not in this time that we're doing the cook-along, not doing the cook-along, 
We are going to do shorter videos and post them up onto YouTube, aren't we, Zeph? No, I'm just going to sit here and cry because I didn't know. You <laughs> did know we're going to... I told you this the other day. It's such a lie. Right, I it. right, so we're going to do short videos directly on YouTube, which won't be live, okay? And obviously, if you are part of YouTube, you will get... If you're subscribed to YouTube, you will get a notification when we do that. Okay? Are we still good? Are you still going to do them? We are going to do... I mean, I'm going to probably find one some months where to be honest. And also, the other second announcement... So, the, that's the bad news about reducing down. But the good news is that we are opening, slowly, going to start opening a business called Food at Fosius and Cooking at Fosius. So, it's going to be a dark kitchen. Um, we're just in the process of, of sorting ourselves out on that. That, that means you, you have to cook with the lights off. <laughs> it does. Look up what a dark kitchen is. So we're actually going properly into the catering business itself. Um, and that's going to take a little bit of my time as well, sort of thing. So this is the reason why we decided that we need to sort of ease down on the cook along. And as somebody actually pointed out to me, that this could be what you call classified the first series. We take a break and we might do another series of cook along. So we shall see how we go. I think there's a lot of things in the air about when we can do the cook along and how long we should do it. I'll let you put it to a vote. I'll we'll put it to a vote. Okay. Right, you can see that the chicken is nicely browning there. Okay. And it is twins. It's not <laughs> twins. It's not happening. Behave you. Zeb's hoping for twins. I think he'd have a heart attack. Sorry, Zeb. What have you got up there? Uh, congratulations on twins, yeah. Oh, thank you. Whoever said we are having no, twins. It's, um, congratulations for the, the, new, the new business that you're proposing. Yeah, now it's, it's happening, but it's, there's a lot of stuff going on in the background for that. So there will be, we're looking at doing a cooking school element. So this is where the cook along has come along nicely and fits Well, you can do that. it from there. Why not? Yeah, but it's... um. Paid, maybe, or government grand face. We shall work it all out. Yasmin all says, out. are you pregnant? I am not pregnant. Tell her. Are you stop <laughs> lying? No. <laughs> Salma says twins. <laughs> so we're going to take our time. So basically, maybe in a couple of weeks, I definitely will be back for Eid. Okay, that, I'm going to put it straight now. We're going to be back for Eid, definitely. We're going to have to do two or three shows for Eid, okay? Oh. So I think that, you know, without saying... There's people like, there's a lot of memorandums need to be made, you know, do you know what I mean, sort of thing. People want to make less my life, there's loads of little stuff that people want to do, but it's for eat stuff. Um, there's still a lot of curries, I wanted to do a curry, we haven't done fish curries, meatball curries, there's loads of curries still to do. So there will be more cook along, definitely. I've just got to work out how frequent we're going to do it. Every day. No, we're not doing it every day. Again, a nice thick sauce in the back there. And what's happening in the back is that the onions are breaking down, so you're not going to have big lumps of onion in your rice, and it's creating the thick sauce. Okay. Uh, Yasmin says she'll really miss you. Uh, Fozio will be here all the time. Don't worry. So I'm not two, three weeks. Stop, stop doing the guilt trip. Stop it. We have to. We have to do what Thanks we need to for, do. Th I want to thank everyone for their support, though. Yeah. yeah. You, if you I guys hadn't logged in, we wouldn't have done it. Yeah, so many people have come in, so many, I mean, sprout curry, I mean, you've all got to make sprout curry for me. No. <laughs> Shut up. Now, loads of people have sent pictures every single week, you know what, and you've all been really good at it. Shocked how good. I mean, uh, uh, Susanna, I just gave, last week on a picture where she sent me, I was like, I'm jealous of her food today, actually, sort of thing. So I do, I get jealous of people's food. Papa Dom's. Who she made full barges and everything, and Papa Dom's is out, and rice is out, and all, everything was out, it was brilliant. Just around one curry. She she done cheddar dal actually and mince curry. She did the mince curry and cheddar dal. So you know you're everybody's learning. Yeah, that's a good beer. We always look forward to cooking on Sundays. More fun instead of cooking on your own. Yep. It is. I know, but we we need to kind of like focus a little bit on the YouTube side as well. We do need to do that, and that's not going to happen on Facebook really, to be honest. So yeah, yeah. but we that. can still do live from YouTube. That's the, the other thing. Just yeah, well, we need to get the small videos on. I keep saying this. Yeah. Okay, so we need to do stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Even if it's live, we need to focus on the YouTube side. That's what we need to do. 
Yeah. I don't think everyone's vegetable curry should be coming along. It's about yeah. three quarters of the way there it now. It doesn't really take that long to cook. It doesn't. Okay, so I'm going to put the lid back on that. Cook a little bit more. Okay, right, we're going to go back to this now, the rice. We're going to start adding the rice to the pan now. Right, the sticky sauce is now covering the chicken. Susanna said she's got the best teacher. Susanna, you know where I am. And Susanna's fine, she's blind. You know what? She's in Gibraltar. She'll text me regularly and say, How's this looking? How's this going? I've got loads, I've got a lot of people that will message me privately over it, and it's really nice. And it's a way of keeping in contact, to be honest, because we lose contact otherwise. I don't think so, it's good. Posey wants to move back. I do, when the kids are at university. Susanna will come when the kids are at uni. He'll come back. So, just to be sure, there's no cook along next Sunday? No, definitely not. I have a lot of paperwork that I need to do to sort my business out, I'm sorry. And these are my days off. So by the time I've done cook along, usually I'm just sat there in the afternoon and spend another hour cleaning up and portioning food out. And then I just sit there and mong in front of the TV a lot of the time. I just chill out. So, Sometimes the, the TV's not even on. <laughs> just sit just sitting there. <laughs> A mong. I just mong. Meh. That's a very scouse word, isn't it? I just mong. Meh. So, yeah, so I just decided I need to have time. Yes, I need to do my stuff. <laughs> come back to where? And Susanna says, yes, come back. Oh, Gibraltar. Sorry, so, so, um, Yasmin, I used to live in Gibraltar and Spain, sort of thing. So, I've got my, a few little my posse over there. My little mates. Best mates in the world. They were They're really, really lovely girls. Right. Uh, Asma says, I just like listening to your voice. Oh, bless her. And love the accent. <laughs> bless her. But, do you know what? A lot of people log on because of Seth. They don't even log on for me. No. No, it is. I have, you have a secret fan club, you know. Right, the rice is going in. This has gone really sticky and the oil's coming up. So you notice the oil's come up on mine, like a shiny layer. And it's quite sticky at the bottom. So when you're ready, add your rice in. Okay. Sticky rice. <laughs> so this is the three mugs I've done for one kilo, don't forget, of chicken. So general rule would be six mugs of rice, but we're not doing six mugs of water. But we're not, because there's already a sauce in there, I'm only putting, there's already a space sauce in there. So you don't need to do six mugs of water. You need uh, to do five mugs. Yeah, it makes sense of a bit profound, I think. Oh. Um, you speak Spanish, Fosie? Spanish people are very friendly, but not like the French. <gasps> oh, starting a war, starting a war there. Starting a war, two, three. Uh, I'm French. No, I'm not. Stopping, four. So I'm going to do five mugs of water. So always do less water because you've got a sauce already. You've already got a sauce already in there. So, for three mugs, I'm going to do five mugs of water. Uh, Fozia does speak Spanish, Six and months. she's going to say something in Spanish to you. Oh my gosh, what am I going to say? That's not Spanish. I know, I know, I know. Oh, Susanna, help me out. I'm going to click. Uh, say four in Spanish. Cuatro. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Right. Sorry. That's going to look really nice. She knows four in Spanish because that's the amount of time she used to hit me. Cafe con leche is like my favourite word. We used to go to this little cafe all the mums and we put the kids go to nursery school and we'd sit there having coffees and sit on the beach front. So I'm just putting this on low simmer and let that cook down. Ah. So one of the best ever would be working and we'd be sitting off happily. So, nothing's changed there. No. Right now, really important with the rice, you need to check for the salt. Remember, it's got to be salty water or to a degree of salt, okay? Although I put some salt in originally, I know it won't be enough, okay? So just check. Is that going to be on there? Yeah, I'll do a tea towel. Yeah. There's the steam of the lid. No, no, don't wipe it. Oh, my God. So I just want his hand on wet steam to wet surfaces. Uh, boiling hot water would be the other word for that. <laughs> yeah. No, I just... <laughs> as I screamed out in pain, Foley <laughs> said, Are you all right? I said, no. I've just put my elbow in a blob of ice cream. <laughs> so I'm pouring a bit more salt in, about half a tablespoon. Actually, it's not too bad, actually. So I'm going to put about half a tablespoon of salt in. All right, so that's you're going to steam off the water. Right, check the salt in the rice because this is the flavour, don't forget. It's got to be a little bit salty, okay? 
I'm going to emphasise on that point, okay? It's the taste test. So check your salt. I've seen a tiny bit more. <gasps> Just a tiny bit more, okay? You don't want to be under. Okay. The lady from Del Monte. <laughs> she said no. Nah. Okay, let's have a look. I'm just going to just quickly look in my oven. It's about 35 minutes. They're about 10 minutes away. They're about 10 minutes away. So when, you, when you've cooked them... Oh, we'll you, make the buttercream. You're going to cut them in half and then no. stick some jam in there. So I'm not going to cut them in half. That'll be four layers then because that's two already. So I'm going to put them on top of each other. Okay? So it's we're going to sit do... down for a second. Okay, that's going to sit down. I'm in a lot of pain. That's an excuse, right? So, <laughs> I know you're not paid. You okay? Yeah. Yeah! Put the phone up to me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can you hear him grunting so he is in a lot of pain? Right, so, um, yeah, so when I do the cake, obviously I can't decorate the cake now because it's going to come out of the oven, it's going to be very, very hot, right? So, we're going to give it a couple of hours to cool down. And then I'm going to put a layer of Morello cherry jam. You can put any jam you want into it. I just like this jam. It's really, really nice. And we're going to make the buttercream now, actually, which we'll do now. Okay. And a cream cheese frosting. It is, I think, based on what the ingredient says. And then you, and cream cheese frosting can be quite soft. Okay. So you put the coconut over it. Sprinkle your coconut over it as best as you can. And you have got to put that in the fridge before cutting it because it'll just slide everywhere. It does need about an hour in the fridge once you put the cream cheese frosting on, just because it's a very soft frosting, okay? So it will need uh, that. Right, so what, I need to actually clean the bowl, sorry. Just remember, I haven't done this. Okay, talk between yourselves for a couple of minutes. Uh, yeah, it's very painful. Let's look at Bozia's cleaning technique. Oh, boy! <laughs> cleaning technique. Make ginger, curcuma, garlic, and black pepper. He's saying it's good for flu pains, migraines, and headaches. I've just got a, a trapped nerve in my shoulder blade somewhere. That if I sit down, it hurts. If I stand up, it hurts. Can't make his mind up. All right, she's done it. Keep an eye on the back gas on the rice because when the rice comes up and soaks in. That's when you need to put it on steam. So, okay? So it's just cooking nicely. It's on so high gas okay. now. Okay, of our back gas, which is kind of like a medium gas, really. Okay? Okay. So, right. what is it you're making now? The frosting, the buttercream, basically. Okay? So, we're going to put the whisk attachment on. So, just you need like a whisk. Put a whisk. Are you okay, Sam? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's dying away quietly. Right. Okay, so according to the list of ingredients, it was. See, when it comes to buttercream, I don't actually follow... Uh, Salma says, is the food going to Bradford? Nadge asked. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a book. <laughs> is the food going to Bradford? Baby, don't know. Let's see how we go. Tell Nadge. She's not sort happy. Sort herself out. <laughs> Nadge always thinks that all the food's for her, you know. My family are brilliant. They just love it because they think every Sunday they're getting fed. It's boss, isn't it, Sam? Right, uh, I need Tiger Balm Red. The red one. Okay. Where are we getting that from? Uh, from the Tiger Balm shop. Right. I've got cream cheese. Again, it's just a cheap brand. It's what there is in the shops and that's fine. So I'm going to do about half a tub of this. You use a full tub, you literally are struggling. You don't need a lot of icing sugar because cream cheese does take a lot of icing sugar to make it. Because it's quite soft, okay? Right, so about half a tub I'm going to use. You'll get the flavour and that's all you need, okay? That's Why is it never a taste of cheese then? Because it's got sweetness. Right, I've used some butter. This is probably about 75 grams of butter in here. So I'm going to use this up. It's been out overnight, so it's very soft. Okay, I've left this out overnight. I made cream cheese frosting earlier on for a carrot cake that somebody asked me to do. So that's why this butter has been used. Okay. Right. And Yasmin said something that only you could repeat, I think. Well, what did she say? The real value of the egg and milk. <laughs> and the real... <laughs> You could have said that. Why would you say that? <laughs> You're not a scouser. <laughs> I'm not. 
So it's in about 75 grams. So this is 250 gram block. Egg in milk. Oh, my uncle used to use, you know, you imagine your uncle, it's about 125 grams. So it's roughly about 200 grams of butter's gone in there, okay? And you've got the cream cheese. So there's about 500 grams roughly. What, what, what does egg yeah, and milk cure? Grams. Everything. Salma says you're a racist. <gasps> Never. Okay, so. She is. She, I have she, not. The other day. So between the cream cheese and butter, the about other day, 250 grams. Those people from, what was it, Jupiter moved in next door and you weren't having any of that. So, I'm not having green people live next door to me. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He's such a blanker. I swear he just makes this up as he's going along. Right. Put the veg curry on right, I think I think that's done. It's nearly done. I don't think you've got to make it. To me, the cauliflower's not completely done. That is nearly done. You are right. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to use the last bit of the ghee. So you've got a bit of oil. Olive, actually, we've got olive oil, so we could put some olive oil in, and it would be very, very good. I'll make some more ghee for next. For our next cook. I was going to say next week, but we're not doing it next week. Okay. See, Fozzie misses it already. <laughs> right. Why don't you invite that green couple? Which green couple? <laughs> I've got a clue what you're talking about. I genuinely don't know what he's talking about, honestly, I don't know. Come on. Right, the rice is coming up. It's quite dark brown, you can see, which is nice. I just need to check the water. Okay, that's fine. Good. Right, so this, I'm going to put this on the lowest gas. This is on the lowest gas, isn't it? Just what we do the butter cream. You know we put the garam masala near the end, so I'm going to put garam masala in. So it's a shop pork one, about a tablespoon heaped. Okay. Don't forget. And then you've got the ground garam masala. Okay. If your veggies are not done, it doesn't matter. It's fine. You can still put the garam masala if you want to, or you can wait till it's all really soft. Yasmin said, uh, "Fozia, are you a real English girl?" <gasps> Never. Happy. And English, yeah, both, and both. We'll go, we'll go with both. I've been here too long, I'm bored here, so it's both. Right, a bit of coriander. Okay. Right. Okay, so. G. Jeffers says you're a lovely couple. It's been a pleasure joining you. Oh, everywhere. thank you. Salma so. said a coconut. Okay, so there's probably about a half a bunch of coriander going in oh, there. Oh yeah, brown on the outside. <laughs> You'll get onto that. <laughs> yeah. Cheeky veggies. Cheeky one, that one. <laughs> yeah, Fozzie was born in the UK. <laughs> the U of K. Right. In the woman's hospital? Yeah. Where Kia was born. Okay, that's looking really nice now. Just check your potatoes are cooked, which they are. That's nice, okay? So, I'm just gonna put the lid on that and just leave it for, what, five, 10 minutes? Just look at the lid. I'm literally on the lowest and lowest and lowest of heat, so you can see, okay? You can see that. That's on the lowest of heat. Right, the rice. Come on, rice, boil yourself up. Uh, so no, Simon says no, Oxford Street Hospital. Oh yeah! We were born in Catherine Street, we weren't born in this hospital. She's right. We got all about that. Good memory, Salmon. <laughs> the woman in Hope and Bargain asked us how many minutes are. We were arguing over five minutes to six minutes difference between us being born. Seriously, we were arguing over it. Well, what was it? Five minutes, and Salmon will say six. Um, who was born first? Sal, unfortunately. <laughs> There's not even a debate on that. <laughs> There's not even an argument on that. <laughs> 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 you always said you were the older one. No, I never said. When did I say that? Stop the lag of it. Salma says she was there. Should have been. Oh, well, yes. Even in pain, your assistant manages to laugh and joke and entertain us. It would be weird if one twin was born in one hospital and the other in another. Well, that's two different women giving birth to two different children, Lisa. Lisa's got twins, you know that. We all know that. Right, so... Fozzie said, said that she wanted twins. So, I'm going to put 
So I'm going to make a cream cheese frosting while you're all still with me. Okay. Right. Sarah so, says she's older by six minutes. Five. So you've got about roughly 200 grams of butter and cream cheese in there, roughly give or take. Yeah. And then I think, I don't know how much icing sugar was there. So you should always double about 500 to 600 grams. And you usually need a bit more icing sugar if you're using cream cheese, okay? Because cream cheese is very soft. I've only got a bit of vanilla. I haven't I think the original green said put some almond essence in it. I haven't got any more left. Can we have a look at the barcode on that? No. Stop it. Child. Right. Getting in there. Um, I don't like cream cheese. Is there an alternative? Um, you know what's nice one is um, white chocolate. Ah. So if you do the butter and sugar, 250 grams of butter, 500 grams of icing sugar, and then whip it up and then melt 100 grams of white chocolate um, and, a bowl, and whip that into it, it's really nice. The white chocolate buttercream is lovely. That would go really nice. Or just plain buttercream, absolutely, it's whatever you want to. The friendly sister. The time of your birth should be on your birth certificate because the oldest twin. I want to find your birth certificate. Well, that's. At least that's... I'm going to have to find that out now. That's kind of ruined Fozio's plans. Fozio's plans for world domination. <laughs> that's not going to happen. Right, so I'm going to put some of this in there. Okay. Right, so I'm going to put some of this in there. Okay. Right, so I'm going to put some of this in there. Okay. Okay. Look, again, the hand is not burning. No, this is like After heat pan. Been there for, been this on, is like, this you know what? Heat. This pan. Oh, the laws of physics, that shouldn't happen. Right, this pan and this pan are both from Ikea. And this does not give you any heat as well. Yeah, but under the law of thermodynamics. No, but they must put something in the handle. Conduct. Put your hand on it. <laughs> <Stop> <laughs> it. <laughs> right, so I'm going to put this in there. No, it hasn't conducted, so I think... The inside of that must be wooden, but it's yeah. making contact yeah. with the metal surface, so yeah. it should conduct something. No, but they've done something. It's an IKEA pan, so they've done something with it to stop it. And same with that other saucepan. Right. They're both like that. All right, this is look like it's going to be a nice gooey rice, which is lovely. I love that. So it looks as if it's going to be a nice, sort of slightly sticky, not dried out rice. But this that's going to be nice. And look how dark it is because that's the colour of the onions. And we went quite dark. Okay, so that'll be the colour of the onions. So yeah, Yasmin says that's a real IKEA pan. It is. I know it is. Well, right. this one's from the hand burning shop. <laughs> no, this is a packing shop, these are. Proper. This is actually from JB's, the meat shop. I got this. I like to soak you with water, so. Okay. That's just, you can smell that, so it's been done. Okay, the vegetable curry looks really good. I'll be tucking okay. into that later. Packy pan. <laughs> yes, <man. laughs> oh come on, I could say it if I wanted to. You know me, right? You're allowed. Okay. I'm just trying to get this rice onto simmer and then I'll go back to the buttercream. Sorry, I was just waiting for this to Okay, so the water has gone right down and the rice is sort of three quarters mostly cooked, al dente. Right? So I'm gonna put that on the very, very lowest heat. So we're gonna simmer it. Okay, so now traditional way is a tea towel must go on to soak the steam. Okay. And then your lid, you put your lid on. And we put a lid on. You can do this in uh, steamers. No, you can't. Okay, so that's how we do it. So give that minimum 20 minutes or so. Okay, right. so that'll be done. Right. That's probably I'm turning off the gas. That's done. Done. That'll be done in about 20 minutes. Cake, check before we do the buttercream. Okay, right. They've got a still wobble in the middle of my one. Okay, so I'm going to give them about another 10 15 minutes. This is because the temperature is lower, don't forget, so they will take a bit of time. Okay, they can right. take about an hour or so. If it was 180 degrees, they probably would be cooked now, but I'd rather just let them take the time. So I'll take them out later. I'll just post up a picture of the cakes when they're cooked, and I'll post a picture up of the bit finished version of the cakes as well. Okay, but final version, let's get the, the buttercream done. So we're not, let's have a look. What flavour is that buttercream going to be? Cream cheese. Ours is cream cheese. What can you flavour it with? Anything? No, it's cream cheese flavour. You'll take also your taste. I'm using a 
anything to get, try to negate this pain. Okay. Right, I'm still gonna probably add a bit more. Right, see, it's really soft and gloopy. Okay, that's because of the cream cheese. Right, you do need more icing sugar, which is why I got a big box of icing sugar. Because you do need it, but it's not 500 grams when you're doing cream cheese. If you're just doing just butter, it is. Oh, so I'm add well, a bit Lisa more. says she's gonna miss you next week and all your lovely viewers. Sheila Rashid said, Why? Oh, Sheila explain. doesn't know. No, Sheila, Sheila, were you asleep before? I only just logged on, I think. Oh, okay. I did explain it. So basically, we're going to take a break and we're going to start. I've got a business plan that's going on and called Food at Phosius, which you'll all be hearing about um, very shortly. And also, we will do cook along live, but not to a weekly scale, is what I'm saying. So it might be every two weeks, it might be a month. We've just got to decide. Don't miss a child, please. And what the general consensus is, it's definitely back for E. Stop it. <laughs> for anyone who's collecting barcodes, this is a really good one. <laughs> Uh, Yasmin says there's many versions of her leaving, but also they say she's having twins. I am not having twins! Please shut up! I'm going to get it now. That was a good reason because I'm going on a diet next week. That was a good reason. I'm just being selfish. That's it. She'll be back with her babies. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you, Zach. It really is. So that's much nicer and much thicker now. Okay? So it's got, you know, you've got to maybe touch more. I'm still gonna add a maybe touch more. You've got to get the feel of it. It's not dropping off, dropping off there. Right, okay? so it's not ready just yet. Yes. Uh, what what are you naming them? I have not named Phosius food 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 at Phosius and cooking at Phosius. That's a strange it's name for name. two it's human the name babies. For babies. Okay? That literally is the name. Chosen, thank you, Sabah, who is not watching currently because she hasn't said hi. I'll tell her off. Cooking, one is called cooking, and the other one's called food. That goes is food. Oh, look here, one is food heaven. Lisa says. Durham and Masala. Um, hang on. That, that's too... Did you remember what our cat was called in Spain? Tika Masala was our cat in Spain. Tika Masala. And uh, what's your cat called now? Well, you called it that. I'm puzzled. This is Yasmin. I'm puzzled. There again, Deb says she's having twins, Salma too, so suspense till nine months. <laughs> Yasmin, I swear you can put a crowd in front of me. I can tell you now it's not happening, alright? They are lying to you. They're blatantly lying to you. And she says, Naughty no, people. Our cat. You must be joking, the poor cat. Which one, the Tika? Tika or, in Spain. Tika was left in Spain. Schrodinger. Tika Masala. Cool Tika, wasn't it? Oh, that's so good. Cream cheese frosting is so good, you know. This is all, all done, dusted. Right, so, what have we got? We've got cream cheese frosting, which is ready to go for later on. I'm going to just cling film that now. Okay? Because I can't use it probably for a couple of hours. So you're not going to use the buttercream now. Just cling film it so it doesn't dry out. Really important. I'll probably get a dish of rice out so you can see the rice. Everyone gets a free sample if they can tell me why Schrodinger is called Schrodinger. I think a few people will know when no. they're not getting <laughs> You're gonna get stumped. Why did we call our cat Schrodinger? Right, let me just check the rice, I'll just show you how it's going along. Okay. It's not done it yet. But I just want to give a little bit of a, an idea. It's not done yet, about another 10 minutes or so. But it will be like of a sticky rice, this one. Like a Chinese so, one. You can see. And that's nice. I really like that. 
This is really good. You don't even need a lot of time curry with this because it's so nice. Lisa said, is that from a film or a book? No, no, neither. So that's literally staying on simmer. I so said cakes, my cakes are probably another 10, five, 10 minutes. I'm not gonna open, keep, don't keep it open in the oven. So I think that's one thing with cakes, okay? Because of the, they'll sink down as well. So I'm gonna show you pictures of the cake as it's finished and the rice as it's finished, okay? Um, and we shall see you when we see you, I think is the operative word, because we're not 100% sure. Uh, maybe two weeks, maybe four weeks. I think about four weeks, I think it'll be. Because I need, I do, I, I have got a lot of stuff on at the moment. I think that's the operative word. Well, uh, just before you finish, tell everyone why Schrodinger is called Schrodinger. Oh, something stupid with physics, for God's sake. Mr. Chowdhury and physics. Anyway, that was that. Right, say bye-bye, Mr. Chowdhury. Bye-bye, Mr. Chowdhury. Bye, everybody. I absolutely thank you for following us. Thank and you. keep following us on YouTube, okay, because we are going to do it on YouTube. We will do stuff on YouTube now more than Facebook. And we'll keep you posted about it, though. Lisa okay? says do three weeks. <gasps> Four weeks is too long. I think bi-monthly is going to be achievable. Twice a week, you reckon? Not monthly. Twice a month. That's twice a week. Every two weeks. It's not twice a week. Twice no. a week is bi-weekly. Once every two weeks. Yes. You've got... Uh, Fozzie's maths was never that good. It's so I do apologise. Now I'm going to work around Seb's timetable a little bit as well because this is like his day off and likes to do stuff on his day off. So the day that he's working, we'll do it. Possibly. Because then you're going what to day? be to work. Every other day. <laughs> anyway, what? we're just chatting crap, oh. aren't we? So we're going to say bye. Love yous and leave yous. I've got to actually feed the kids, sort the kids out and do my stuff. So I'll see you when we see you all. And I said I'll post pictures up later properly of the food, okay? Thank you, everyone. Bye!